Hello, hello, welcome back. Today we are making a cleaning tracker in Notion. So if you don't know what a cleaning tracker is, stick around because you're going to find out. <laughs> so here to my right, we have a little list here, a little table I made up, has all of the chores that we might do in, a, in our house or our apartment, and then how often we might do them. No judgment here if you do them, you know, if you don't make your bed every day. Although that is one that you would do every day. Maybe like Hoover. I'll be honest, I don't Hoover every seven days, but this is just what Google suggested. So we're rolling with it for example purposes. So we're just going to get straight into it and make a little database inline here. So if you're curious as to how I have made these side by side, because tables in Notion, you know, you have to do a bit of jiggling about to get that to work. Um, I do have a video on it, but essentially all we're doing here is getting two blocks, dragging them side by side, and then, you know, just, just uh, for example, even though it's not going to show because we've already done that, but, you know, <laughs> we, then we put them under from that to that. Anyway, I don't actually want that because I had it good already, so... I'm just going to call this table CT because we know it's a cleaning tracker, but you can call it whatever you'd like. I'm also just going to go wide here, full width, just to give me some room. So let's call the title item, even though it doesn't really make sense, but it kind of does. And we'll start with Hoover. So we kind of have the wrong properties here. I don't want tags for this cleaning. Well, maybe mm, not yet anyway. Um, I'm going to change this multi-select to a date property and this is going to be when we last cleaned or last hoovered or whatever the, you know these transfers to so these this is going to be when we last did it so let's say I actually hoovered on Friday so that's a win for me and then here we are going to make a number property and we are going to call this time in between, time, or just in between, but I've already written time, so, all right, there we go. And we're going to imagine that this uh, property is all in days. So for Hoover, I'm going to write seven, but for example, for our freezer one down here, instead of writing one for one year, I'm going to write three, six, five. Um, and again, for three months, I'd write 90 days and windows, uh, six months, I would put 180 days, something like that. So, but again, you could do it differently. You could do it by year, but then you just have to obviously work out what seven days is in years. <laughs> so I thought I'd just make it nice and simple with days, but you'll, we'll see how that works in a moment. So here we are going to now make a formula property. And I want to call this, uh, what do I want to call it? Status or status. <clears throat> and this essentially is going to, you know, do all the maths for us. It's going to tell us when we next need to hoover or, you know, mow the lawn. <laughs> so I'm going to do, I'm going to build some formula. We're going to start with um, a key piece of formula and then we're going to build onto it. So we're going to use two functions. The first is the date between function. So down here, it is. it says it returns the time between two dates. The last argument is the units. So here, so this is what I was saying about years and days. We would write days in here. So see how it suggests different units that you can have. You could even do milliseconds, but I'm not that deep. <laughs> so um, let's write our date between function. So we are going to do date between. So because this is date between, I'll keep saying date between because that's really fun. <laughs> um, we are going to, we have to use date properties. So as we can see, this here has a little date, kind of like a calendar icon, and that tells us it's a date property, which would be only acceptable in the, well, it would be the only acceptable property in this formula. So I am, we are going to use date uh, last cleaned, but first we need to do now. So as we can see, now also has a little calendar, which tells us it is a 
state pro function, uh, property. <laughs> and then we're going to do, so this is going to tell us the date between now and, you guessed it, our property last cleaned. So as the date between function told us, we need to give it a set of units. So I'm going to put in, um, what's that called? Quote marks, days, and then quote marks. So we need to finish this off with a bracket. And here it tells us three. So three days ago, I hoovered apparently. But I'll show you what it would say if we did weeks. It'll say zero because technically zero weeks have passed. But I could, I could, I'll tell you what. There we go. I'll, sh I'll change the date. See, two weeks have passed. So that's kind of how it works. Personally, I just think days makes the most sense. And I think you'd all agree with me. And I'm just entertaining this for no reason. <laughs> so this it tells us our date, how many days since we last cleaned. But we can go a step further with this because, yeah, that's all well and good. But now I have to, you know... We can, we can just make life even easier with emojis and such. So I am just going to put a little bracket around here just to make it uh, not all go wrong. I don't know if I actually need a bracket there, but we'll, we'll get to it. So we are going to do if. Well, that maybe that's that sorted because <laughs> I already put the bracket in. But an if function works like this kind of down here so if the 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 thing you're trying to work out so for example if the date between is is and then you do so is like greater than or less than or equal to you kind of ask a little question if it is that then you put this then you put what you want it to show here so this is if correct or yeah return this value and then if it isn't like that so say you know it isn't <laughs> I was going to give an example but I didn't give an example before so never mind but if it isn't then return this so this will make sense in a moment so here we have if our date between prop last cleaned uh between now and when we last cleaned is greater than so here i'm gonna put do i want greater than is greater than yeah i do whoa i've just done loads of spaces oh my yes okay is greater than and here we're going to use our property time in between because i don't want to put a fixed number here because all of our days here that we decided for different um, items in the house are different so this is why we're using this this time in between property so we're going to do prop prop time in between let's do equal to as well actually so greater than or equal to prop time in between show us a um across so i'm going into my emojis here and to do that on mac i have done uh, i think it was command control and space all at once and then i'm just going to double click the emoji i want it in for some reason this x for this x emoji doesn't actually load as an emoji in the formula but it will when we um finish up so if it is greater or equal to then that show us this x and if it isn't which means we will have cleaned it within the time we wanted it to be, return a tick. Now, as you can see, I've actually not put my quotes around it. So there we go. As we can see, we have already, because the formula is correct, um, we have some ticks going on here. So let's just, for example, to test out that our formula works. So we have gone, we've gone like, to be fair, it's because I built the form. Right. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> to make to make life super easy, let's do. Ooh, let's just copy that and make. Because I don't. I'm good at maths, but I'm not that quick <laughs> at working out how many days in between. Why has that not worked? Date between. 
between why does it say one? Oh right it doesn't <laughs> there we go uh in between so this is just we you wouldn't need to keep this this is just purely to show you that the formula works but we already know it does i'm just hammering the point home <laughs> so this is greater than this therefore it's returning this so if we put seven 27th and we put one here uh, oh yeah, well one isn't a good example, eight, <laughs> then there we go, Th this is greater than, the, uh, is less than this, so it's returning a tick, and that is how our formula goes. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill these in real quick, and then I'll pop back to you um, for a little extra add-on that we can have. Okay, cool. So I've added them in and here's like a rough example of a cleaning tracker. Now, um, obviously you would add in actual chores that you do. So maybe you don't have a lawn, maybe, you know, you have something else. I have no brain power right now, apparently, to think of cleaning chores. <laughs> you Maybe you have like two sinks. I don't know. <laughs> let's not let's not carry that on so here i'm adding another column so let's say that you have a flatmate and you both use notion together and you both dedicate different chores to different members of the flat so you could do something like this so you could make little tags obviously you'd use your names um or you could even if you both have notion which you probably would if you were doing this, you could instead use the person property and that will allow you to, I believe, get notifications, I think, or at least when, you get, when it gets assigned to you. Um, so that's pretty cool. And you could, um, yeah. And then, but this, what I'm doing now is cool for dashboards, um, and weekly agendas and things like that because this cleaning tracker could live in your like house uh, page or something but you know maybe you just want to see at a glance what needs cleaning today if anything does so this is where we can use uh, use linked views so we're going to make a I've typed in slash linked and it's showing me create link database so I'm going to click that and it's going to make a search for this cleaning tracker that we have made. I apparently have three because I filmed this video so many times <laughs> and not been happy with it. Love that for me. Um, but here we are, I've clicked the right one. So I'm just gonna add a view. I feel like it's good practice when, especially using linked databases, to always create a view before you uh, make any filters or sorts because it's just gonna catch you up when well, I don't know. It just is. I just find it does. Um, so I'm just going to call that me. And here I'm going to add the filter. So filters are, filters are legendary in Notion, for me at least. <laughs> filters and formula together are unstoppable. Um, so here I've just filtered out for what I need to clean. So maybe, you know, I'm not really nosy and I don't really care what my flatmate has done. Maybe I am. So maybe I'd make a view to keep tabs on what they're cleaning. But, you know, life's not that deep as long as your flat's not a tip. So um, then I'm going to do status. So I don't want to, I don't really care about, you know, the windows. They only take, take 180 days and it's, I cleaned them 12 days ago. So I don't need to see that for the next... 158 or 68 I don't know what what the maths is there um days so here I'm just going to do status contains and then I'm pressing control command and space again to load my emojis and I'm just literally putting in the little cross that we put in there so here now it's only showing me things that need cleaning so in practice I would I would actually hide this property so time in between i wouldn't delete it because then i well then my formula wouldn't work and also it doesn't allow me to change the time in between uh that i would clean it if i wanted to so i'm gonna hide that and then um i would probably delete this because i don't really need to see that my status formula is going to tell me whether or not it needs cleaning 
Um, and then I could also, if this was in a, you know, uh, contextualized dashboard or a weekly agenda, I wouldn't really need to see who because I'm assuming this is only for my eyes anyway. So I know that it's for me because I've got my, it's what I filtered this, this table, specific table view for. So this is really cool because now I can just see what needs cleaning and when. Well, not and when, it just what needs cleaning <laughs> and when I last cleaned it. And hopefully that will shame me into cleaning it. And um, because we are using, um, because our formula uses now, this is always going to be updating as the days go on, obviously as the days pass. So this is kind of um, it pretty much. I will just... Um, show you so I made a dashboard in I made a weekly agenda like in my last video uh meal prepping so I'm just gonna pop over to that and add this cleaning tracker in just to just for a like wholesomeness so bear with me Okay, cool. So there we have, we've kind of slowly got a weekly agenda building here. So um, in, you know, practice, maybe I will have cleaned everything um, at a good, you know, uh, maybe I'm good at cleaning and this wouldn't take up too much room. You know, maybe this isn't for you. It could be uh, you might not want a cleaning tracker on your weekly agenda as such, but you could maybe, maybe you have a Sunday reset page, a monthly reset um a check-in or something you could put it there just as like a, a list of things you want to do that need doing things need doing to make the world go around right <laughs> so yeah that is it for this video any questions please let me know i do have a discord server where you can ask questions i have faqs in there um check out my products below so i have two templates for sale a student productivity hub and uh, an animal crossing hub so go check them out if that interests you thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video